depending on the character's roles, some liberties to keep the plot moving are unrealistic. What I'm focused on is learned behavior, something you see over time. And that is why I like series, because it starts to develop a character into a person and it constrains the writer into how the character can react. If you violate the spirit of the character, then you soon will find interest in the books will disappear. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. Gay people, at least in my experience, do tend to be real close to the mother. According to an event I went to, it was called Focus on the Family. Loved One Out was the name of it. They insist that that is the problem with why we turn gay. I don't think it's that at all. I thought it was silly to imply it's the fault of the parents. Still, I was closer to my mother. The thing is, mothers are less judgmental, usually, and having given birth to you finds it harder to disown you. As well, for fathers, it is the whole prestige of having given birth to a man-child. Silly in today's world, but men do find them challenged. If the first child is a girl, and it must be something like that, if a child turns out gay, to them it is a challenge to their masculinity among their friends. Yet today, women are just as capable as men, so you'd think it wouldn't be so threatening. It still lingers, and it's sad. It's also sad that parents tend to forget that God gave us free will, and sometimes he might be challenging you. How do you treat your child, the one you claim to offer unconditional love? You now are disowning, making their life worse. God chose the path, but he did not make the path hard. That is the parents, the family, intolerance, who insist they have a right to demand a child give up God's gift to keep a parent's transitory promise they never thought about before they spoke the words. A real high price for such a worthless promise. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. The attempt is to start a discussion and get people to think about human behavior from the perspective of the closet. How this might lead to problems that make friends or partners or even business relationships difficult. I can understand why some would dismiss this effort. I find reminders in how the characters behave with memories of my own experiences and then explore that aspect. It's meant to start people to think. It is not meant to imply I am right. If you do not share the ideals with others, then how will you know if you're right? When talking, the focus should be on challenging and exposing your ideals, not in changing other opinions. That would only lead to frustration, since the only person you can change is yourself.